Hi guys, it's Inventor Andy, and today we're going to be looking at serial communication on the Atmel SAM D21 Explain Pro board. Um, we're going to be using the STDIO abstraction. So if you're familiar with C and C++ programming, you'll be familiar with the functions that come with this, such as printf and scanf. So we're going to be using those to read and write the serial terminal. So if you can go ahead, open your browser and go to start.atmel.com. And then we're going to go to create new project. Make sure that show only boards is selected. And we're going to scroll down and find the SAM D21 Explain Pro board. Click create new project. And give that a moment to pull in all of the uh, basics code. Okay, so first things first, it doesn't scroll up, rename the component. So we're going to name this project STDIO Serial. Okay. Then we're going to add a software component. Now we're not going to drivers this time, we're going to middleware. So open that up. And then go to Utilities, STDIO Redirect, and click Add Components. And as you can see, we've got the redirect there and the target I.O. So the target I.O. is where we're redirecting to on the board, which pins we're using. If we look at the moment, we're using pins PA4 and PA5. Now we need to use the pins that are connected to the EDBG debugging chip. So if we go to pin max, and then if we stretch out the label here, and header, and we're looking for virtual COM port. So there we go, we've got the virtual COM port. PA22 for the TX line and PA23 for the RX line. So if we go to TX and we find PA22 and then RX PA23. And we're going to set the board rate to 38400, which is the board rate of the debugging chip. Once we've done this, go ahead and export that project. Make sure Atmel Studio is selected. And let's go and save this. Click Download Pack. Save it somewhere where you can remember. So once that's downloaded, open up the AT zip file and get started on creating the project. Okay. Let's create our project. Wait for it to pull in the code. Okay, so first things first, we're going to go to our main.c file. And what we're going to do, even though we wouldn't normally do this with an embedded program, is we're going to get rid of that infinite loop. Now, first things first, let's create a variable for the name. So, This is a pointer to a character array. Now let's allocate some memory to it. 20 bytes. Okay, so we're going to go and print a message to the console. So if we type printf, and we're going to write a quick message here. Yeah. 
We've added this slash r and slash n. Those are the new line characters in the printf function. Okay. Next up, we're going to get the user's name. Then. So we use the scanf function, which scans for input. We're scanning for a string. So we use the percent s identifier. And we want to save that to the name variable. Finally, we're going to print a message with that name in. So we can use that percent %s again, and we're going to insert the name variable at the end. So after the change string, we put a variable in there. So if you're not familiar with the printf function, if you want to insert variables into the string, you add them after the string separated by commas in the same order that they appear in the string. Okay, so let's save that and let's press F7 to build. That's now built. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in the explain pro board. As you can see, it's been plugged in and it's come up with an extra drive. Let's close that. Okay, so if we go to tools, device programming, click apply. Let's get rid of the memory that's already on there at the moment. We don't want the last program on there. You don't actually have to do this as it will erase every time you program. But I always do it as an extra anyway. Click erase now. Click close. Now, we're going to open up the data visualizer. So if you go to tools, data visualizer. And if you don't have this, it's a great tool. I recommend getting it. Uh, it gives things like power information, uh, it's got a virtual terminal on it for serial communications, it's good for when you're prototyping and developing stuff on Atmel microcontrollers. If you haven't already installed it, go to Tools, Extensions and Updates, and then search for the Data Visualizer to download and install. Okay, so if we open the Serial Control Panel, and if you remember earlier, our board rate was 38400. Make sure EDBG virtual COM port is selected. That's the COM port that's connected to the debug chip on the board. Click connect. And then we're going to start running this program. Go to the data visualizer. And as you can see, the first line has already been printed. So we're going to add my name there. And if you notice, I've got add slash r slash n checked. That means that when I press enter, it will send the line input to the serial terminal. And there we go. So you've typed in my name and it's come up on the return string. So there you have it. That's how you use the STDIO functions on the explain pro boards. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next week for another tutorial. Hi, guys. It's Inventor Andy here. Thank you for watching my video. If you like the video, please click like, please subscribe to my channel. And please feel free to add any comments if you've got any suggestions for tutorials or videos that I can do. Thanks very much, guys.